Hello. Thanks for coming. Before I do anything else here, I'm going to make sure that I put all the extra screws from my 1541 explorations into a bag. And I will mark them. It's funny how these bags, they got no air in them until you seal them. 1541 and I will put them aside in case I should ever need them but of course if I ever need them <laughs> I will not be able to find them because that's the way it is something. This is the note on the 1541 that spinned endlessly. That's good. Now one thing. Hmm. Well, I don't see my quad focal glasses here. I might, you know what, I might try and put these on without making use of this retainer thing. I think they might be better. Maybe I can, uh, you know, I know once I get this off, I'll never get it back on. These glasses did, in fact, belong to my dad. Maybe it's the hair. And they're reading glasses, so, you know, they help out just about that distance, which is not bad. Not bad. Anyway, maybe I don't need them on at the moment. So, what am I doing today? Well, i got to try and find some of the 64 boards oh, that I really don't like. And I don't think this is one of them. But I don't, I can't tell without opening it. And the ones that I really don't like are the ones, and I should know the number, but they're the ones with the Super PLA. Why is this not doing anything? This is supposed to be the right size, there we go. And they're typically in the 64C cases. And why don't I like them? Well, you know, a lot of the versions of the 64 were pretty much the same, same chips. Sometimes a few tricks here and there, like when the PLA and the um, SID chip are reversed, which can throw you off a bit. The screws are out. By the way, the funny screws that they use on these are Torx bits. Torx 10. Now, this machine has no, um, no notes on it. I know at the last World of Commodore in person, I, oh, I did snow. It is not one of the boards that I seek, but maybe I'll have a look at this machine anyway. I did, there was a fellow there who needed the number nine key from exactly this machine, this type of machine. And so I said, well, you know, I mean, instead of dealing with shipping and other such things, I just opened up the machine, took off the screws from the keyboard, Sent him on his way. So, 
this is not a small board one. How do I know? Because as I looked, I could see the layout of the upper um, bunch of chips. And it has the big steel metal heat sink thing on it. So what is this going to do? I don't know. Oh, look at that. seems to work. Perhaps taking the 9 key off wasn't the most brilliant thing. But you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Oh. I will put in, not the dead test diagnostic, but another. Oh. Now here, is another 64. And I'm just trying to look inside to get an idea, if I can, of what's inside. And I don't think I can. Dead test okay, seems okay, a bit dirty. Ooh, I registered this on the website. seems quite fine. So two more screws. Let's push this a little higher up on the desk. And we got a place to work. This one, the keyboard, is of course complete. Now is this a little one? Oh, it might be. Yeah, I think it is, because see, the LED has a very short cord on it. It does. It's a little rusty. Now, what is the Super PLA? Well, it is, from what I can tell, it's a 64-pin monster, and sockets apparently are hard to find. I have not tried, but anyway, and, and, and I think they, why is the screw being difficult? to make notes on this. And I really need to take that cartridge out before I forget what I've done with it. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. It is kind of dirty. Ah, ah, ah. It is. Okay. Missing. 
son. that turret. I cannot talk at the moment, of course, because I am working away here. Anyway, that was my brother. He and I, long ago, ran, indeed, the, wait for it, Bradley Brothers Bullet Board System. Not surprising. Anyway, the Super PLA, once I get this opened up, I'll show you, it's, uh, I don't know, I just, they're never socketed, they always seem to be the trouble, uh, you know, uh, it just, I know, saved money, one less chip, Da, 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 da. But anyway, uh huh. I should have tape. I should. Don't you fall. I had tape. Oh dear, dear, dear. I will tape this later. I will. Ooh. Golly. Oh. I put this on this rolling chair and update it later. So, inside of that 64, or this 64, is. very small board. Now, compared to the minuscule things they do today, it's not, what does this say? Seems okay. Seems okay. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll see about that. We shall, of course, inside uses the Torx. Yeah, okay, yeah, it comes up all right. Let's, uh, let's test out things. I can't see. Don't. Uh, there we go. Okay, cartridge in, turn it on. Let's see what happens. Now, I shouldn't undo the screws while it's on, but I might. I might just live on the edge. Now, as you have probably recently seen, this same case, I just opened one up and it had not this board in it. And that is because, indeed, the case has extra holes in the bottom to accommodate both versions, or most any version. Of the board. I'm going to turn that off. And I've got a screw. pliers. It's out. It just doesn't, there we go. Doesn't want to come out. Oh dear, 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 dear. Let's see here.
they use Torx bits or heads or screws or whatever for I think one of two reasons. One, I think when it comes to robotic things, if they did have any robotic things going on, that they are easier or better for the robots. But also, torque spits are not as, they're not uncommon, but they're not as common. And probably it was just another thing to try and keep people out, lest they void the sacred warranty. Well, here, there's another screw, there's another screw. There, this is a combination of shield, but also the keyboard mounts on it. So, here is the small board version of the 64. And this here, this is the Super PLA. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And really, from what I know, well, it's a lot smaller. I mean, there's a lot less components on this thing. There is. But, it's weird. From what I can just see of it, like the pins are so much closer together. They are. They are in DD. Oh. Anyway. Any chip that's not socket, or, yeah, any chip that's not in a socket is difficult. But, you know. Ooh, there's the shielding. Yeah, this case is kind of dirty. And there's even rust on this RF modulator. Thing here, which of course nobody uses, although back in the day people did. So what do we have? So the video chip and the little support chip are socketed. What is that noise? It looks like the um, the SID chip is socketed. And it does seem to work. And that is good, because I am looking for one that is working. I am. I want to find them all. You know what? I, I wouldn't I'm not I'm not saying for sure I'm just going to be rid of them. I'm not I mean not be rid of them. But uh ta -da! And up comes the 64. I mean, the smaller board is, yes, smaller. It does have um, a lot less parts. I guess, you know, that also is how they were to, you know, pump them out in vast numbers and sell them for less and less and less. And, uh, you know, that's okay. So I think I'm going to just because I can, I'm going to put this cartridge back in, but switch it to the dead test. And turn it on, and it will take a little while. Seems okay, a bit dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video PLA eighty seven oh one in sockets works. Sit okay. And that seems to be true. It does. 
So we'll just let this run here. Now, the other thing I, I'm just going to reach over and get here is another such board. I like the looks of this one better. It has sort of a gold tone to it. But the notes on the bottom are discouraging. From what I remember. Pretty dead. 64C. It flashes. Cart does not work. Wake's disk drive. Video chip. Well, we'll have a look at this. We will. This one has... Well, really, the only thing I... The only thing I can really swap out between these two... is... Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? No, no, no. Pretty much the video chip. <coughs> there is... In this machine, anyway. 8500, which from what I know is really a 6510, but this one is not socketed. So, with great care, we'll pull out. video chip, and we will check the pins, and the witness mark, we'll turn it on, it always helps if you actually have the power supply plugged in. should come the dead test. And it does. And it should do its thing. I suppose what I should do is to take out the The other chip, there's another chip that is supportive of the video chip, the 8701. So once this does its thing, then I'm sure it's going to be fine. I could check that too. But I'm not sure I will. I'll see. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Well, I'm not sure it's fine. Maybe while this is doing its thing, I'll see if I can pop this out of here. There's just a little chip. Just a teeny tiny little chip. Alright, it's out. screwdriver and get that chip out. And we will search. We have found the witness mark. And the pins look fine. So this is one of those moments that maybe these would be helpful.
that's this wood. Another thing. Okay. Boring. Um, you know what? I'm, I think I'm just going to turn this one. Yep. So those are fine. They are. Well, I suppose. Because I'm here, and of course, I don't know exactly what's what. But I know that this is good. So I'll put it over here. Out of the the way, and I will put these chips in here, which will make no difference at all. Yeah, these glasses are okay, I think. They have a tendency get a little fogged up. So, I have, I have no doubt that this is not going to work. No doubt. What have I done? Do I have this in? Nothing at all. Now, I suppose one thing I can do with it, it that was kind of strange. It was, it would be horrible to have a bad fuse and not check. Oh, fuse is good. something. Well, let's go back just for fun and get a verification that what we have here is in fact, I think I said it had flashed. Well, not yet. I saw a flash. So that typically means RAM. They're not socketed. So I'm not going to diddle around with that at the moment. Ugh. I think these glasses get fogged up. They're too close to my head. Maybe. Ugh. Maybe it's the hair. So this is a pretty accurate description of what is going on with this dead August 2014 dead. All right, and it continues to be. But I found a good one. That is important, because I need a good one. All right. Ooh, so we got parts and parts and parts. I'll just keep putting them up there until something falls. Oh. Ow. Things like this, when they're in this state, now the LED is, I don't know if that'll come out or not, I'm not going to diddle around, but you can pretty much almost put these in the sink and wash them. But this one is not bad. I think a magic eraser would do it nicely. What is this? Uh, PLA chip. That'll be bad. Um, yes, so I have kind of accomplished my mission and I found one good 
board of this nature. But I want to look for more. I do. I do indeed. Um, so I know what I've got and I know what I don't have. And, uh, and yes, I need to see what I can do to help Rudy. You've not met Rudy, but eventually you will see him on his own channel. Maybe I'll visit. Anyway, Rudy has a 64 like this that needs attention. And I think it has been difficult. Anyway, at some point, maybe I'll see about dealing with super PLAs. Maybe. But not today. Anyway, I need to go and look for more 64 C's and circuit boards that are small, compact, and such, and see what I got. So, I will keep doing that, and then I will come back here and test things. But I do have a little bit more room to work here, but, um, yeah, i got to get this cleared off. Cleared off. Maybe later today. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming. If you have a 64 with a Super PLA and it's working, good job. Way to go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, to me, the Super PLA just takes the happy 64 and turns it into this strange beast. A 64 pin monster. Yeah. Anyway, onward, I will look for more boards and things and stuff. Until we meet again. Bye for now.